In this short video, I'm going to show you how to download your sitemap and turn it into a CSV file. So yeah, like I said, in this video, it's all about how to actually download your sitemap and turn it into a CSV file so you can analyze it and check for errors. I will do another video later explaining how to or what to check. Uh, whatever to look for, but in this video is purely how to download it using our new tool I've built, which is completely free. So you need to go to this URL. Don't worry, um, I will put it in the body of YouTube, but if you can't remember it, it's just on page dot rocks. And in the bottom, in the footer, there's a useful tool section, sitemaps into CSV. So you'll land on this page. All you need to do is look for this section here, which I think it's on the page twice, it is. But this one here, you need your sitemap URL. You enter it and hit OK. It, then you can see it's working. It's a little magic. Depending on the size of the file, it might take five to ten seconds. It might take a bit longer if you've got a huge site. The current limit. Ah, see, so it's already downloaded. So click here to download. Um, so you can, as you can see, there brings in the URL, the change frequency, the priority, and the last modified. All the data that's in the sitemap. There is a limit currently of 1 mil, 1,048,576 and that is basically that's the limit of Excel. So obviously most people will analyze this in Excel, so that's the limit I put on there. If you do need, if your sitemap is larger, um, I have a custom built tool that runs on my Mac. Send me the URL and I'll run it for free for you. But for 99.99% .99 of people, this will do. So yeah, simply put in your thing, hit OK and it'll run. Um, hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you've got any questions, comments. Yeah, thank you.